particle performs harmonic oscillations along the x axis according to the law x is equal to a cos omega t assuming the probability of the particle to fall within an interval from minus a to plus a to be equal to unity find how the probability density dp by dx depends on x here dp denotes the probability of the particle falling within an interval from x to x plus dx so here in this problem we are given that particles performing simple harmonic motion according to this law and from this equation we can see that at t is equal to 0 particle is at the extreme position and extreme position will be plus a and this mean position will be x is equal to 0 and this another extreme will be x is equal to minus a so at t is equal to 0 particle is here and then it will move in this direction we are required to find that the probability dp the probability dp denotes what is the probability that we can find the particle in between x is equal to x to x is equal to x plus dx so, so what is the probability of finding the particle in this region x is equal to x to x plus dx that is the dp and for finding dp we can write the expression as dp is equal to the time interval in which the particle will fall in this region will be some dt while particle is going in this direction then the particle will be in this region for time interval dt but for one time period for one total time period it will return also and it will also it will be also found in this region for the same time interval dt so in one time interval it will go like this it will come like this so in one time interval it will be found twice in this region suppose the particle is taking a time dt to cross this region and since it is being found twice during one time interval and t is one time interval or time period of the motion of the SHM so dp is equal to twice dt divided by t dt is time taken in x is equal to x to x is equal to x plus dx now we have to replace this dt by dx since we are required to find the answer of dp by dx so to introduce dx the equation is given as x is equal to a cos omega t and on differentiating this equation you can find dx is equal to minus a omega sin omega t dt this minus just represents that if uh, with time the x coordinate is decreasing and since we are given the equation like this at t is equal to zero particle is here and the particle then comes in this direction in will go in this direction and in this direction the x coordinate will decrease so this minus just represents that so i am just moving forward without this minus sign i am just taking as the magnitude so magnitude of this dx will be a omega sin omega t dt i am just writing the magnitude so for dt i can replace this expression dp is equal to dx divided by so dt is equal to dx divided by this expression a omega sin omega t and one capital t is there capital t denotes the time period of this motion now this omega into t is 2 pi and one 2 is also there so this 2 is with us 
this a and omega t is 2 pi now the answer is to be obtained in terms of x so sin omega t is to be replaced in terms of x and we know the value of cos omega t in terms of x so sin omega t can be calculated like this sin omega t will be under root 1 minus cos square omega t under root 1 minus and this cos square omega t is x square by a square and this will be under root a square minus x square divided by a so for a sin omega t we can put under root a square minus x square this 2 and this 2 will go so value of dp is dx divided by a sin omega t and this a sin omega t is under root a square minus x square and 1 pi is also there so value of dp by dx from here will be 1 divided by pi under root a square minus x square so this is the required answer to this problem the same problem can also be done with another method in which the SHM is the projection of a uniform circular motion. So suppose particle is performing a circular motion and its projection can be seen as its projection on the axis can be seen as the simple harmonic motion. Suppose this is the x-axis and this is y-axis particle is moving like this since x coordinate is a suppose particle starts moving from this location and let us assume particle is moving with constant angular velocity omega on this circular path so at some general time let's say particle is here and this angle is theta and this theta will be omega t suppose the radius of this circle is equal to a so this will be a and this distance will be a cos theta or a cos omega t so the projection of this motion on the x-axis can be taken as this simple harmonic motion after a small time it covers a small angle d theta and for this d theta it crosses the required region of dx this is x is equal to x and this is x is equal to x plus dx so this length on the x-axis will be dx so to find the probability from this we can say that in the entire one rotation in the entire one rotation the particle covers the angle of uh, 2 pi and in that 2 pi our favorable angle will be this d theta and this d theta when particle crosses these two regions in this d theta the projection will be in this region dx so probability dp can be written as twice of d theta this is our favorable angle in the whole 2 pi angle so probability is d theta divided by pi now we just have to replace d theta in terms of dx and x and our answer will be ready so this d theta can be related with this uh, radius and this arc length and this arc is basically a straight line in this particular case if this angle is a very small angle I am making the diagram separately this is d theta this is a arc but this is nearly a straight line and this distance is equal to dx this is a this arc length or a very small straight line will be a into d theta 
and this a into d theta can be related with this dx also this is dx this angle is theta i am extending this line and this angle is also theta if this angle is theta then this is 90 this angle is 90 minus theta and this angle is also theta so this is like hypotenuse and this is perpendicular this angle is theta so this a d theta can also be written as dx divided by sin theta this can also be seen from this situation so a d theta is equal to dx upon sin theta we can replace d theta by this expression now so the dp now will become it is just a matter of mathematics now d theta is dx divided by a sin theta and this pi will also come now sin theta from this uh, diagram we can see this distance is x and this is a and sin theta will be this divided by this hypotenuse and, and this will be under root a square minus x square so further we can write dx a pi and this sin theta will be this under root a square minus x square divided by this hypotenuse equal to a this a and this a get cancelled and this is equal to dx divided by pi under root a square minus x square and from this we can also find dp by dx which will be 1 upon pi under root a square minus x square